How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be looking at how I make passive money in New World by flipping rune glass gems. But before we get into that, please consider subscribing to the channel, it helps out massively. Now, let's get into it. I mentioned in the last money making video that I'll be showing you guys a method I use passively while doing resource runs to make additional money, and that's this method. What you're going to want to be doing is buying empty rune glasses, slotting in a gem, and then selling them for lots of profit on the trade post. I will show you some of the main ones I've been using and going over a bit more how I do this process. But first things first, you're going to need to get 180 stone cutting. If you already have this, great job, you can skip this step. But if not, go ahead and grind this out. There's tons of guides on YouTube on the most efficient ways to get to a 180 stone cutting. And it might take a bit of an additional investment, but you'll make your money back in no time. Now that you have 180 stone cutting, I'll run you through how I do things. First you want to find out which rune glass gems are going to net you the most profit on your server. It will be different for every server, but by far the most successful one I've been able to flip is the Rune Glass of Igniting Opal. This is because many builds love to run this in their weapons, and in my server I could usually buy the Rune Glass case for around 3000 coins, and then the gem for 350, and after combining them, I sell them anywhere between 7.5k and 9k coins. After fees and everything, I can see myself making around 5k per flip, and get roughly 3 or 4 flips a day, so that's 20k coins in profit for minimal work. The more flips you do, the bigger your cash stack will get, and you can start doing this method in bulk, and make even more money. If you do get to the point where you are buying in bulk, I would suggest doing a few different kinds of rune glass gems just to diversify. A few you could look into on your server and see if a profit could be made on them include the igniting onyx, because most mages use this in their armor, the igniting ruby for the fire staff and ice gauntlet mages, the punishing glass with malachite or diamond for the melee dps characters, the Sight Glass with any defensive gems for archers and musket players, and also the Opal with pretty much any of the elemental damage rune cases could be sought after. Once you've done the research and know which one will net you the most profit on your server, simply keep buying and selling. I like to start off my day by going in and reinvesting all my profit into new rune glass gems, picking one of each that sold overnight and putting another one on the market. Then, once I have them all up, and I'm waiting for them to sell, I go do my dailies or other money making methods like cauliflower or sandstone block runs. And whenever I get the notification that a rune glass gem sold, I go back and make another one of the same kind and relist it up again. Of course, when you're placing a sell order to sell your rune glass gem, you will have to undercut the lowest price on the market to increase sell speeds, and make sure to lower the time limit of your listing to either 1 or 3 days to save extra coins there. And if you want to get even more profit, you can buy your gems and empty rune glasses via buy orders. But I find that takes a lot more time, so I just use the buy now option for that and make my profit on the selling end. And then, if you want to add even more profit on top of all of that, you could even level up your weaponsmithing to 180 and actually make your own rune glasses. But I'm not high enough level yet for that, so I haven't played around with that method. Once I do, I'll put a video up showing you guys how that works out. If I made it already, there'll be a link to that at the end of this video. I've been getting a few people recently saying that by sharing these methods with everyone, it'll tank the prices of these items, but I believe it's a win-win in the long run for everyone. We can all use these methods until they are no longer profitable, and then move on to another method, and at the same time, we will then be able to buy these items for a reasonable price. No longer will it take tons of money to slot rune glass gems into all your equipment. Plus, there's enough methods to go around. Simply go between methods based on what is needed in your server. For example, before I decide what kinds of runs I want to do to make my money, I go to the trading post and see what's selling for high, and then make my decision from there. But that about covers everything. I hope this can help some of you out. If so, leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you'll be notified whenever a new money making method comes to light. But until next time, have a good one. Thanks for watching another video. If you'd like to check out another money making method, click on the video to the left. Or if you'd like to see any other New World related content, click on the video to the right. And don't forget to subscribe.